All right, it's been about a day since I posted that uh, last video, so I thought that I'd continue on with this build. I wanted to show some of the progress that I've made in the meantime. So I've got all the plastic parts mounted, with the exception of the one part I still need to print, but I'll get to that. I've mounted the actual wiper mechanism and I've leveled it out. So this there's a small offset here. So I printed out this L-shaped block that mounts to it and I just used some of the uh, hammer nuts and screws that I had left over for mounting that. And then to actually level it, another uh, L-bracket that I printed out that has a, a screw and nut up on the top side here that attaches to the T-slot. And then this screw and nut here just pushes into the wood here and it makes this whole thing pivot up and down so I can adjust how this, like, if this is tilted in any way. This is one of the print bed assemblies. So I have this thick spacer block, the top plate, and then this is just a piece of insulation foam that I have cut out to tightly fit on the inside of this so that it minimizes the amount of powder that leaks through so everything stays on the build plate where it should be. My end goal is not to use a printed plate as the top here. This is a kind of stopgap until I figure out what I actually want to do with the top here. I went out to 7-Eleven and bought some flour to use as my first test because this is like $3 for however many pounds this is. So this is a, a low investment uh, testing methodology. The only part that I have left to print is uh, this other top plate that'll go on this side. And then I'll be able to do a full test with the flower and maybe see if this whole leveling system works. Because this is the, the main issue. This and if the laser actually centers the powder the way it should. The laser positioning and everything, that's all, that, that's just an XY gantry system. That's not super difficult to make. That The real stopping point for this whole thing is if this powder leveling system works or not. This whole thing is really just a proof of concept. It's to see if this works and if I can get usable parts out of it. All right, so I've made a little bit more progress. I've wired up the motors to the Chonksy control board, just because that's the one I have at the moment. And so I just wrote a little test script that does the, the, the new layer action a couple of times. And I thought I would share how it, uh, how it looks. But first, I wanted to show you where I mounted the end stops got one under there triggering on the nut for that for that wheel and then I've got one one right there if you can see that that triggers just on the bottom of the lift we'll run the g-code now Also, I have the Z motor moving three millimeters at a time because that shows up better on camera, whereas, you know, 0.2 millimeters doesn't even look like it moved. Belt path is, it's, put, it's pinched in ever so slightly but that's actually okay because that stops the teeth then from rubbing on the supports of the bearing. You can watch it lower from this side. Why do I always do these things at almost midnight? So the next step is to put flour in here. Actually, it'll go into this one. And then I will run through a test of this wiper mechanism to see if uh, it actually works. And then if it does work, then I can justify spending extra money to buy the Ender 3 and all the additional parts I need to make this build actually uh, happen. My cat is supervising me work. Waited until the next morning to do this because I figured that I'm gonna end up making a mess and if I have to run the vacuum, I didn't want to have to run it at midnight and my neighbors would kind of hate me for it. So it's now the next day and I'm able to get started on this. Looks like I have to supplement my uh cheap 7-Eleven flour with my good Pillsbury flour. My laptop is out of harm's way with everything going on over here. Let me power this guy on. All right, nothing is immediately on fire. That's a good sign. 
I don't know that I like the idea of flour getting into the bearings in this, so one moment. Okay, using some painter's tape, I've uh, masked off the bottom bearing of the motor, and I've tried to make a little scoop here that should maybe stop more flour from getting down into the linear bearings here or the roller bearing there. So uh, I think we're ready for the first test. All right. Hitting print. Okay, that's something to start. And now that this entire side of my apartment is completely coated in flour, I think I finally figured out what that first issue was. Uh, flour likes to stick to itself, so it was not sticking to the bed, but when the wiper was going past, it was sticking to the powder that was pushed up on front of the wiper, so it didn't want to lay flat. So my, what I've done is I've lowered the print bed a little bit and I've laid out a bed of powder and I've smoothed it all out for the most part. And now I'm gonna tweak the G-code so instead of just one swipe across, it kinda of sweeps it in a jittery move, if that makes sense, to try to help even things out a little bit more. Okay, some things that I've learned so far. Number one, uh, I should have used sifted flour because the little clumps that are in here are sticking to the wiper or just not being smooth and causing gouges in the surface so it's not a perfectly smooth movement um, or I mean a perfectly sur smooth surface after it's done but with that said I can show you what I've done so far so here's the g-code script that I've written see it does a good job it's picking up a pretty even amount of material from the reservoir side But then the deposition side, it's not super even just because of, well, I'm not 100% I'm not certain why it's not being super even. I had a bunch of tests and ran the same G-code a bunch of times. And I think I've kind of figured out what the issue is. So this last run, you can see it's really smooth over here. And then over here is where it starts to get a little rough. And I think honestly, all of this is because I'm mixing flowers. That flower is was unopened before this and it was just, um, it's, I'm gonna just cheap 7-Eleven brand flour, but it, it was dry because it was in an unopened package. Whereas my flour has been opened, so I think it must have absorbed some moisture. And you can see there's a clear difference in the two different types of flour. Because over here is where I used mine, and over there is where I used theirs. So, so I think this is definitely the all clear to. Uh, work on pursuing getting a uh, an Ender 3 for the, the next step of this, which will be building the XY gantry. And then the next step after that will be getting the laser and getting all that dialed in. And then finally after that will be most likely uh, software stuff. So getting the G code to work. Okay, that's where I think I'm gonna end part two. Uh, I've successfully got the flower to swipe over from one side to the other, from the reservoir to the print tank. I'm not sure how long of a delay it's going to be between part two and three. That's going to be probably a while because I have to wait till I can get an Ender 3 and with everything going on in the world right now, shipping from anywhere is slow, especially from China. So we will see how long that takes. If you want to follow along with the project, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it a lot. And if you like this video, uh, consider giving it a like, you know, doing the thumbs up thing because that uh, it helps me out to know that these videos are getting well received. If you have any thoughts on uh, my project or anything you want to say in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks.